unsolved. The murder of Sherry Jo Bates. This video is about Michael Zalek, and I'm just going to call him Michael Z. Michael was born on August 18th, 1946, in Riverside, California. His parents were Alex and Evelyn, and his father, Alex, was involved in the grocery business. And they lived at 5957 Birch in Riverside. And so here's a look at that location. And you can see with the blue circle, that's the crime scene of Sherry Jo Bates. And that's RCC campus up to the top right. Now looking at this telephone directory from 1955, you can see Michael's father, Alex, was a clerk at Safeway in the city of Redlands, which is near San Bernardino. And you can see that they moved to 1234 East 26th Street in San Bernardino from this voter registration log. And so they probably moved there around 1960. And here you can see that Michael Z was a student at Pacific High School. He was a senior in 1965 and he graduated from there. And looking at this map, the blue circle at the bottom over by Riverside is the approximate location of Sherry Jo Bates's murder. And then the red circle is the location of Michael's house. And within it is the location of Pacific High School. And you can also see to the right, the city of Redlands. After Michael graduated, from Pacific High School, he attended San Bernardino Valley College. Now, Sherry Jo Bates was murdered on October 30th, 1966, and she was a cheerleader for RCC. Now, the significance here is Michael's college in San Bernardino played sports with RCC in Riverside. They are competitors. Those schools, one game would be at their school, another game at the other school. This letter was mailed to the Press Enterprise in Riverside one year after the murder of Sherry Jo Bates. Your human interest story, October 1st, 1967, about Sherry, the RCC girl that was killed, was very interesting. Perhaps a story about the boy that killed her could be more rewarding. If people were to read of the life of a boy that turned killer, they might stop to think about the lives of their own children. Are we laying the blueprint for another killer? Might be one of the questions brought to mind by such a story. With hope, Patricia Hunts. Well, it just got interesting because Patricia went to Pacific High School and graduated the same year Michael did. But her name was Patricia Mary. And so she went by her middle name, Mary. And here's a picture of her with her graduating class. So why would she write that letter to the editor? This is a short passage from Zodiac Unmasked. Heard a strange story in the San Bernardino area at Pacific High School, a young student in dark frame glasses with a black elastic band strode unannounced to the front of the classroom. The teacher had not yet arrived. 
In very large letters, he wrote Zodiac on the blackboard, said a student there, along with a few code-like symbols. I attended Pacific High School in San Bernardino and graduated there in 1964. Among the students at that time was one, the other kids called Big Bad Zode. They called him that because he was puny, weird, and called himself Zodiac. Zode was an extremely odd person. He was seriously disturbed, angry, and violent. He was teased mercilessly and often threatened the students that someday, would, someday he would kill them all. Zode was of short stature and may have had a hunchback. He wore thick glasses, dressed in dark clothing, had dark curly or wavy hair, and may have been from the Middle East. Remember Brian Hartnell said he thought the Zodiac Killer had an accent, but he couldn't figure it out? I'm going to stop right here and move on. This is a copy of Sherry Jo Bates' Certificate of Death, and she died of multiple stab wounds, and she put up a huge fight with the killer that night. And then this is a report about that incident. And if you look, it notices a seven inch circumference wristband on the watch. And so I'm going to talk about that. I'm a very average sized person. And so I measured my wrist and it was a little bit more than seven inches in circumference. And I looked at this chart and I can see that I am average. Seven and a quarter inches is the average wrist circumference. And so this band was smaller, a little smaller. So that's saying that the killer was a little bit smaller than your average person. Remember the confession letter? Making her pay for the brush-offs that she had given me during the years prior. Did Michael and Sherry attend the same middle school together when Michael lived in Riverside, California? It also talks about the alleyway in the store. His father worked in a grocery store in Riverside prior to 1955. The 13 character, my name is Cypher. Could it be this? In the Cypher there's two A's, two M's, and two N's. And in his name there are two A's, two E's, and two L's. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and I'm definitely going to look into this gentleman more next episode, next weekend. But the next show will be about the John Bonet case, and it's going to be at least a 20 minute show, maybe up to 30 minutes, and it's gonna be all based on being able to chat while the show is being presented, and so it's going to be much different. It'll be very unique. So I'll see you next weekend, Friday, around in the afternoon sometime.